Uh, will the apostles have a dual role, a dual role setting, uh, a dual role, let me get this right, sitting on the 12 thrones in the kingdom and be in the body of Christ? Very interesting and astute question. One that, of course, uh, uh, some will not even understand the direction that it's coming from or what's behind all of that, and yet uh, uh, many of you are well studied in the Word and understand that there is a difference between the 12 apostles and the one apostle, that is the apostle Paul, and uh, his uh, role in the Gentiles or the church and then the 12 and their role for Israel. I have a, uh, a chart on this actually in my uh, book, The Bible Graphically Presented. Now, the question then is about the future. And we've done a lot of talking about the apostles' role in the past, but this is an interesting question about the future. Uh, do they have this dual role sitting on the 12 thrones of the kingdom and are they in the body of Christ uh, and this service in the body of Christ? Now, it's a good question, which I'm not totally totally sure we can answer. Uh, and here's one of the issues as it relates to the future, to the millennium. You see, we get into the millennium and, uh, we have made some assumptions as the church, as theologians today, about what our role in the millennium is. And I, I take the millennium and the kingdom of God to be the same thing. So what is our role in the kingdom of God? Now, typically, we take some passages like that found in Revelation, which says uh, that the saints will reign with him. And we read ourselves into that. And so we say, well, we are going to reign with him. In fact, there's one ethicist that I'm not uh, terribly popular, uh, terribly friends with, uh, and uh, he is uh, quite regularly talking about future kings and queens of the universe, and uh, we ought to treat people nicely because they're future kings and queens of the universe. Now, I think that's uh, uh, an interesting, uh, uh, probably poor place to get your ethic from, but nonetheless, uh, what is our role in the kingdom? Now, again, the common assumption is that we as the church age believers reign with him. And I'll just say that might be true, but there is another, uh, another viewpoint, and that is that the church age believers are going to remain in heaven the entire time. There's some arguments against that as well. Uh, so are the, are the church age believers going to be in heaven or are they going to be in the, in the kingdom? If they're in the kingdom, are they going to be reigning and ruling with him? Are they going to be given 10 cities and five cities? Uh, what's the role going to be? So these are some things that honestly, I think we cannot fully answer. We have to say they're things that haven't been revealed yet. All we know is that we are going to have a blessed relationship relationship with the Lord. And the, the closest firm evidence you can come to say that we in the church age are going to be uh, here on earth during the kingdom is that it talks about uh, in, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 how we are caught up together with him uh, and with the Lord in the air and we will remain forever with him. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 uh, verses 13 through 18. So uh, now, that's not quite to your question, but a little background to your question. That then comes to the role of the, uh, of the 12 apostles. And of course, Judas is taken out. We put Matthias in, not Paul. So those 12 apostles, they clearly do have a role judging Israel, sitting on the 12 thrones of Israel. And you have uh, uh, certainly implied that in your question. So that is, uh, is, is taken care of. Now, are they also having a dual role in the body of Christ. Well, you know, Peter uh, is the only one really we've got to go, uh, to, to go on, I suppose, John, uh, who writes the Gospel of John. And uh, both Peter and John, at times late in their ministry, of course, they write some things that very much are uh, applicable to the church. And especially, you know, the Gospel of John. And John, if you will, is, is almost a, a, um, a church age user's guide to the activities of Jesus. John begins his Gospel, as I said a few weeks ago on this program. He begins his Gospel by saying, He came into his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he the right to become the sons of God. So it certainly, I, I think you would uh, have a very hard time giving a case that John the Apostle does not have a role in the body of Christ. And of course, then you could uh, logically say, well, if John has a role, then so does uh, Matthew and Barnabas and Peter and James and these other apostles. So 
Uh, is there a dual role? I think so. And I think this is probably true, not only for the apostles, but all of those who are in that overlap age of the, uh, the law and the age of grace, which did overlap. I think it ended at the destruction of Jerusalem, but it, uh, the overlap started at Pentecost. And so between Pentecost to Jerusalem, you've got this little overlap, and there, are, there is a group of Jewish saints there believers, those saved on the day of Pentecost, for example, are baptized on the day of Pentecost. Here, we've got uh, the, the issue of what happens to them. Now, I wish I could tell you more in terms of, of what exactly that role is, but I, I think it's one of those things that the scripture uh, simply doesn't uh, bring out for us. So, a uh, great uh, question coming from uh, Colorado, and I appreciate uh, that. <laughs> 